What's up guys, Kaiser here, and I wanted to go over some of Asasina's neutral tools and how to practice them in practice mode. First things first, let's go to practice mode. Once you're here, make sure that of course you pick Asasina as your character, and then let's pick Kazuya for the other character. And we're gonna go to the classic Yakushima for practice, right over here. Austin has two neutral tools that we can set up drills for. The first one being down back three, and the second one being down forward one four. Into back turn, that's important. Let's start with down back three. To set up this drill, I want you to press start, go to practice settings, change the training mode to offense, the opponent action to random block, and the action after hit or block, I want you to change to punish. Then we have to go to punishment settings. From here, we're going to set two punishments, one for standing and one for crouching. For the standing punishment one, we're going to click record and we're going to record 1-1. One, one. Just like that. For the crouching punishment, I want you to click record and we're going to do wall standing 4-4. Four, four. Just like that. And click yes. So for this training, when the Kazuya blocks the attack, you want to do the back turn parry. Just like this, and you can punish it with forward, forward, three. The best way to punish every time when he blocks low is do a four, one plus two. This will always work every time. The forward, forward, three can be a little bit tricky to do sometimes, depending on what's happening. But on hit, you want to do one plus two, and then you can do a combo. This will beat the jab, jab that we set. Show you how this drill looks in action. I'm going to quick do this for like 15, 20 seconds. I hella dropped that combo. But uh, yeah, that's the general the general gist of it. So one thing to think about um, in this drill is if the opponent does do an armor move on hit, they'll still beat the one plus two. Where in that case, if you think they're gonna do that armor, you should use three and then get this. This all depends on the opponent you're fighting. It's not a guarantee. Also, sometimes jumping over works too. Does not work in this case. Do not do it versus Kazuya. But if you think they're going to do an armor move, use three. Or you could also use a throw. That beats the armors. But everything else is beaten by that one plus two. So the drill still works as intended for the most part. I highly recommend it. You will find a lot of use. And uh, you will get a lot of games off of just the down back three tech here. So for the next one, let's talk about down forward, one four, and a back turn. The thing is, we already have this set up. It's the exact same thing as the last one. Trading mode offense, random block, punish. The only thing for the punishment settings, we're going to turn off the crouching punishment and just keep the 1-1 one, one standing punishment. So for this drill, on hit, you want to use back turn 1 plus 2. Boom. And you'll get the counter hit launch. And when it's on block, you want to hold down back and get a punish on the whiffed high high. Now you might be saying, Kaiser, but what if he does a mid? If he does a mid, oftentimes you'll still be able to get out of it just because they're reacting and waiting for you to not finish this string. And the other thing is, if they are doing it fast enough, like you just saw, to where they would beat you doing the mid, you should just finish him for counter hit launch here. That's the other part of this drill. Um, but the main thing you should be practicing, if we have it back on random block here, is on block, duck, launch. On hit, on hit, nope. Go ahead and do it. Get it, get it. On hit, one plus two. Just like that. And just like with the other one, you don't have to do one plus two after this. If you think they're going to armor move, do a three. If they're going to do a jab like this guy's doing, though, it is much better to go with the one plus two. But if they do this, hold down back to get this spin from back turn. You have to do holding down back will do this long, long spin and give you a lot of space. You can't hold back. You can't just hold down. You have to hold down back. And that's how you get that super nasty spin. And just like the past drill, I will be showing it to you for 10 or 15 seconds so you can see how it's done.
So yeah, those are Asuna's two best neutral tools, in my opinion, and drills that can help you practice what to do with them. I know they aren't perfect, but I do find that they are quite useful for myself and my students, and hopefully they'll be useful for you. Uh, speaking of students, uh, my coaching is back open, by the way. I'll put the link in the description and in the YouTube comments, probably. But yeah, hope that you found that useful. See you in the next one later. Jenny. bye-bye.